Welcome back to the Biostock Life Science Summit and today's second presentation, which comes from medtech company CLS. Presenting is the company's current Chief Commercial Officer, Don Mjogen, and from December 1st, its new CEO. Welcome, Don. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for uh, allowing me to be here and to present um, CLS, or Clinical Lasothermia Systems, um, and our most recent achievements and plans for the future. Um, I think most of you know already um, that the cancer uh, field is a, a well-served but still unfortunately underserved area of care. So there is about one out of three that do gets cancer um, and it's, it's not a, a disease that um, is a one type of disease, it's a very different disease. Uh, it has many different uh, ways of affecting uh, the patients but also the families. Um, there are many existing procedures today to treat cancers, uh, such as surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Um, a lot of them are timely, costly, and uh, very, very sort of burdensome to the hospital and the patients. Um, the systemic immune therapies with drugs, which has recently um, been developed over maybe the last couple ten years, has proven to be very effective. However, it often brings several side effects to patients as we go down the road in the treatment regimens. So CLS has found a way to interact with this market. We're focused on the advanced and innova innovative technology for image-guided high-precision laser thermal therapies. It is um, a minimally invasive cancer treatment alternative with a potential immune-stimulating effect as one of the protocols that our technology can de deliver to the patients. So we just have a look at CLS at a glance. Um, it's a medical device company. Uh, we're offering the technology uh, and products for laser ablation cancer treatments. It is based on some research from Lund University Hospital. Uh, we were founded back in 2006 and we made an IPO in 2009. Um, the company has headquarters here in Lund. Um, we have subsidiaries in Germany, US. We just recently up and opened up uh, another subsidiary in Singapore. Um, the brands that we work under are the Tronberg brand, which is a technology platform um, for the laser ablation. Uh, it is a CE market and FDA approved products. They are based on our patented technologies and they're designed for both MR as well as ultrasound guided um, procedures. And we offer tumor laser ablation with a very high precision. It is the niche that we're within at this point is the high precision niche of ablation. Um, the LIT and the IMILT are different protocols for treating different stages and different types of cancers. So the LIT thermal ablation therapy is targeting today prostate cancer. We're targeting neuro and spine treatments. These are early stages of cancer treatment. Um, the IMILT protocol that has the potential to activate the systemic immune response, it is a <clears throat> treatment protocol for the later stages of cancer treatment. Um, where we are focusing more on metastases, either in the liver or metastases in the brain. So from a technical standpoint, our products, um, which are called the Tronberg Thermotherapy System, which is sort of the headline for our portfolio, um, is a technology that is fully compatible with most image guidance systems like the MR, ultrasound, and CT. It is a small, light, and powerful mobile laser unit. It has, as I said, previously a CE mark and an FD approval. Um, to that, we have a portfolio of disposable fiber optic, uh, non-cool laser applicators. Um, we have just recently, this year, received the CE mark for a thermoguide workstation uh, for MR thermometry, and I'll come back to that a little bit and explain what that means. Uh, all in all, we have a very versatile platform for image-guided high-precision ablations. Uh, for the market of surgical oncology. So what is laser ablation treatment? and How is it really used? So for the uh, local treatment of soft tissue, as I mentioned earlier on, such as cancer tumors, um, we have a small uh, laser applicator that is based on a fiber optic design. Um, it is about two millimeters in diameter and it has different lengths, three to, to 12 meters in length. It's inserted into the tumor through a minimally invasive procedure. Uh, and most of the times it's image guided. Um, with this 
laser applicator is positioned in the center of the tumor, preferably. Um, the tissue is heated during about one to three minutes to about 50, 55 to 60 degrees C. These are typically the temperature range for achieving a tumor ablation instantly. Um, and this is for total cell destruction in that tumor. It's suitable indications such as malignant tumors in prostate and brain, as well as benign prostatic hyperplasia or epilepsy and potentially vascular malformations. Now, CLS has developed over the years um, based on research coming out of Lund, what is called the IMLT treatment protocol, which is a variant on an ablation protocol. It stands for Immune Stimulatory Interstitial Laser Thermotherapy. And it's, the goal for this treatment is really to create a systemic anti-tumor immune response in the patient's body as a whole. So by using a very specific treatment protocol, uh, applying that to the tumor, we're lysing the cells of the tumor, uh, exposing the content of those cells to the body's own immune, immune system. Um, by doing that, we are act activating T cells, for example, and those T cells would then uh, reach out and home in and kill tumor cells throughout the body. And it's in addition to that, setting an immunological memory. Uh, the type of treatment that can be achieved with this is called an episcopal treatment that affects the entire body. And again, I repeat, this is again something that is focused on the later stages of the tumor disease. Shifting gear a little bit into the strategic focus of CLS as we're moving forward. Now, we're currently enhancing and strengthening our product offer for minimum invasive MR and ultrasound guided laser ablation. Now, this is through our own development, but also in partnerships with other companies. We also, from a clinical standpoint, um, we are forming clinical collaborations to collect treatment data and user feedback in these targeted indications. And this is to support regulatory and commercial objectives of the company. Through collaborations with innovative and locally respected partners, we're also establishing CLS businesses in prioritized areas across the world. Coming back to the product portfolio and the therapies that I've spoken about earlier on, just to give you sort of a summary of that picture, um, we currently today have the Trombok Thermal Therapy System that I mentioned, and we just recently got the market clearance for the Thermoguide workstation, uh, which allows us to work with our system in very high precision on the MR platform. And that is the Trombok TT system with Thermoguide. Um, based on those designs and those technologies, we are also moving forward um, and integrating further creating more integrated solutions for MR-guided therapies, also doing so for ultrasound-guided therapies. Now, the <clears throat> image guidance and what is called the needle uh, guiding systems, like stereotactic systems, are two components in the fully integrated system that are important to CLS and that we're putting focus on. This allows us to create workflows that are easy to work with for the, for the users, that allows them to continue working in a similar fashion as they're doing today. Any changes to workflows at a hospital is always equal to friction. So CLS is focused very much on integration, coming up with solutions that are easy to use, that create safe and effective treatments to the patients. So the technology platform that we're designing and working on now is, again, for the IMLT treatment protocol as well as for the FLA and for the LIT protocol. So the FLA is focused laser ablation. is It's an acronym used very often for prostate treatments. And the LIT, which is laser interstitial thermotherapy protocol, both of them being a ablation protocols, are very often used in the context of treatment of brain metastases and for a treatment of epilepsy. So an example of how CLS is approaching um, the market, one of them being together with partners. We have partnered up with different companies to provide to the market the fully integrated systems that is a necessity to provide safe and efficient treatments to patients in early as well as late stage cancer. Now, Clearpoint Neuro is one of those partners that we've signed up with uh, some time ago. 
uh, specifically um, for a joint development of a fully integrated system for MR-guided LIT procedures in neuro and spine. Now, their unique product offers a very high precision of needle navigation or instrument navigation, I should say, and placements within the brain. Now, with this system integrated with the Traunberg platform and with the MR thermometry system that we now recently got approved, the uh, thermal guide, uh, we will be able to position our products at the very tip, at the very top, I should say, of the high precision ablation uh, business. Now, customers and clinical collaborations so far, uh, we work with uh, almost a 10 different collaborators across the world, mainly in US and Europe. Um, it is a mix of partnerships for commercialization, but also for clinical studies. Now we have um, three different locations in the, in the Americas, two in US and one in Canada that we collaborate with. And the recent one we just started up now is a university hospital in Magdeburg where we're doing a collaboration on ultrasound guided or fusion guided uh, procedures in the prostate cancer. Addressable market for us in EU5 in the US is rather large. For the late stage treatment um, or the treatment of late stage cancer, I should say, um, the potential is in many different cancer types. Hence, there is a lot of um, patients out there that are in need of this type of cancer treatment. Also in the early stage, we have a significant market where the side effects of the standard of care today is really one of the uh, difficult uh, situations with current procedures. So some of the milestones in the period coming for the company here is to focus on getting the FDA approval for the Tronberg system with the Thermal Guide workstation in US. Um, collaborations for US guided, or sorry, for ultrasound guided uh, FLA lit. Uh, we are continuing working on those collaborations to get integrated systems to the market clinical trials uh, within neuro as well as prostate. Um, it's ongoing. Also to establish the CLS business and growth sales in the US, Europe and the Asia Pacific. And also for the IMLT, we're looking at a, a trial for that IMLT treatment in late stage cancer patients. And this is to define partners and financing scheme for that clinical trial. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to start by asking you about a fairly recent press release where you said you had, uh, or you announced that you had been given a reimbursement code by the American Medical Association. Could you explain a little bit what this means? Sure. Um, I think reimbursement is a necessity for our customers to be able to enlarge scale, um, buy our systems, buy our products, and to use them in those procedures. So for the ultrasound guided or fusion guided um, procedures, there were no existing reimbursement code. Um, so CLS joined up with a um, company called NAMSA who supported us through the process um, and with help of the specialty uh, societies in the U.S., um, which was the American Urology Association and the American College of, of Radiology, uh, who supported this application, we finally got it approved at American Medical Association. So we're very happy about that. This is the first step where the uh, users um, and the hospital can register the use of the procedure and our products on that particular code. It's also the first step towards a next level code, which is a category one code, which will uh, provide us with payment. So it's a first step in a journey towards payment, important. If we change geographical location swiftly, like you mentioned, you've just announced or recently announced the foundation of a joint venture, a clinical Asia Pacific. Right. Um, what is the status in this project? So uh, Asia Pacific for us is a way to reach out into, into that region. Um, it is uh, a joint venture with um, another company and staff in, in Asia Pacific. We're located in Singapore. Um, uh, Rumesh Kaul, who is our current CEO of that company uh, and also part of the, of the joint venture, has many years of experience in that region. Um, working with particularly neuro, uh, neuro applications. Uh, so we, we find um, that there is a fantastic market opportunity for the high precision um, laser ablation systems, basically on the MR platform uh, in that region, but also a great potential for the collaboration that we have with Clearpoint Neuro. Uh, how that will turn out, we will have to see, but it definitely is a great potential for us. 
Well, thank you. And we will look forward to hearing more about that. And thank you for coming. Thank you so much.